everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to day three of our 12 days of Christmas. For today's project, I needed to think of something to, I like to go, you know, when you go to relative's house for, um, you know, for the holidays, you always want to bring something. You never want to, you never want to go to anybody's house that you're invited to over for dinner or for anything. You never want to go empty handed. So I always, when we go to my cousins, I always like to bring them a little bottle of champagne. So I went ahead, this is what we're going to do today. I went ahead, I'm going to show you how to decorate this. Isn't this so cute? So it's super duper easy. Some, if you need to make a whole bunch, like usually I know if everybody's going to be there, I bring one of these to each person who's there, each one of my cousins. So usually I have to make, put together at least like probably 14 of them. And if you want to mass produce them, this is the perfect way to do it. And if you want to go ahead and just bring something non-alcohol, you are welcome to go ahead and bring a sparkling cider. And we're going to go ahead and decorate this today, okay? So, I am using this awesome paper. Let me take it out of the bag because this is such pretty paper. This was um, donated by um, my close to my heart consultant, Miss Melanie. And she's from the, from the Cricut blog. Super duper pretty paper. Look at how pretty this is. And it's double sided. Okay. Really pretty. This is what I use to decorate that with. So it comes with two sets of this. And then you get some um, solid cardstock. Pretty good quality here. I was really, really happy with it. This is the first time I actually used close to my heart paper. And I really love it. And then just same thing on the other side. Isn't this pretty? Okay, so anyways, this is the paper we are using today. Let me go ahead and put this away. And this is from, um, I guess it's My Reflections. I'll go ahead and, um, yeah, My Reflections paper. It's the Christmas paper. I, I will definitely, if you're watching over at YouTube, I will have a link to this, to her site, and to directly to this paper on my blog, okay? So let me put this aside right here. And then the other thing we are using with this project today, we are using my um, favorite, my extra large label die, and this is going to be the little die that's right in front. We are using gift card sentiments, and I'm using the sentiment um, from our home to yours. I'm using this, the all around accessories. Um, I already made one. I'm going to show you this right here. I'm starting on them because I need a lot of them. I already made one using the snowman, okay, and this is it right here. Um, I just didn't put it on the bottle yet. Okay, then these are the stamps to go with that. So we're going to do the little, this is my favorite one, we're going to do that one today. And then we're using my extra um, love label borders, and then this are the, these are the size of them. They're pretty good size, they're the same size, they fit perfectly with my extra large label die. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is start off with, I believe this is three and a half by 12. Now, this one, when I did the champagne one, this is three inches because I didn't want to put too much. And you don't want to glue it down completely. So this way you want you want your person to see what kind of, and it won't fall down. You know what I'm saying? You see how it's, it doesn't slip down at all, so it's perfect. So anyway, since we're going to be covering the sparkling cider, this label here was a little bit higher. So I believe, let me double check my measurements here yeah this one was three and a half inches the other one for the champagne was three inches so this is three and a half inches this way and then 12 inches across okay so what we are going to do before we do the ribbon part we're going to go ahead and do our stamping first because i'm using a lot of glitter and i want that to make sure it gets dried quickly okay so now for our i'm going to go ahead and stamp on here using my tim holtz chipped sapphire and then the stamp I am using from, is from my extra large label borders. Okay, and let me just grab a little. I'm just going to use this little pad right here to stamp on. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just stamp this right on my label die right here. Perfect. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now let me put, actually, you know, I'm still going to need this so I can stamp my little Santa Claus. Um, let me go ahead and grab my ink here. This is just some Black Ranger archival ink. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and ink up my cute little Santa jacket here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just put this right here in the center. Just kind of put it off to the side there. Okay, so this part, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and color this in. Now, I really want it to match these flowers that I'm going to be using. The other one I did didn't match it too well, but I want to match this, so I decided to use this color Copic marker instead. This is called Ultramarine, and it's the B29. And I'm just going to color in his outfit. Now, remember, the they don't always have to be... Um, red. You could do your little Santa outfit, whatever color you want. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and just color this in really quickly here for you. Okay, just finishing this up here. Okay, so now that part's done. Um, let's see. You know what? Let me stamp my sentiment on really quick. Now, what I'm using, this one said, this is from the gift card sentiments. It says, from our home to yours. I cut the stamp in half. Don't be afraid to cut your stamps because you could always just put them right back together just like a little puzzle. So it's no big deal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that same um, ink chipped sapphire and I'm going to go ahead and just put this up here where it says from our. Isn't that a pretty color? I love that color. Okay. Okay, home to yours. Perfecto. Okay, so that part's done. So now what we're going to do before I do anything else, what I want to do, hopefully I don't mess this up like I did the first time when I was practicing with this. I'm going to go ahead and use my little thick glitter here. And um, to put it on, I'm just going to go ahead and just use my uh, zip dry glue. Um, let's see where I put, we'll use this one here. I have a few bottles here on my desk. Okay. And then I'm just going to basically just go around the edges, okay? Just go around the edges. Just on the out, just to kind of outline it. Since this is going to be your focal point on your actual bottle that you're going to be gifting, it, you want your little tag to kind of stand out and be nice, pretty, and sparkly. So I'm just going to go ahead and just go around just the edges right after that line there, okay? Really quickly here. Okay, now that I have all of my glue on there, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my glitter. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just pour it on here. And it's just only gonna do the borders, okay? It's not gonna do anything else. This is exactly how I wanted it. And it does get a little messy, so if you're the crafter who does not to like make doesn't like to make messes, I highly suggest you use the stickles. <laughs> but I don't mind getting down and dirty when I craft. I love it. Okay, so that part's done. Let me put the cover on my glue. All right, there we go. Okay, so that part is done. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, does that look pretty already? Okay, now I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put this on, and this is going to be on the little buckle part here, just so it could stand out, just like I did with the other one. And this is just, um, it's called Golden Rod Stickles. Okay, and since I kind of messed up a little here on the side, I'm just going to go ahead and just use my stylus here to kind of clean up the edges here. Didn't make a huge difference, but it, it was there. I saw it. Okay, and then so now that that part's done, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one called Waterfall. This is my blue stickles because, like I said, I want it nice and sparkly. I could just leave it like that. Let me see. But no, I want it sparkly, so I'm going to add, these are the stickles I'm going to add, so I'm just going to have to be extra careful because it's, um, this is going to be wet. It's already wet because of the first layer of glitter I had put on the edges there. So I'm going to go ahead and just glitter this up really quickly, only on his little blue suit part. Let me see. 
Doesn't that look pretty already? Super duper pretty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up really quick. Okay, I just got to finish putting all the glitter on the jacket. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this here. This is just some ultra, um, it's like fabric paint. This is the glossy, super fine tip. And then this is what I'm going to use for the little fur around his coat there, okay? Let me get this started because I've used this tons. Okay, and I like this because it does have the fine tip on it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just go in um, on the fur part. Oops. Like I said, I've used this so much I'm running low. I need to get some more. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just go in. Like so, I really want that other kind. I've seen people use it. It's like really puffy, puffy. This gets a little puffy too, but not as puffy as those other ones I've seen. So I'm going to have to look for those. So anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and just paint in just his little collar on here. And then we'll be done with that part. Okie dokie, I'm all done with the actual jacket. Now, of course, if you want to mass produce, you don't have to do all this, but you know me, I like to do extra work for myself, and I just think they look so much prettier. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of put this aside so that could dry, and then we're just going to go ahead and finish up this bottle really quick here. Okay, and you, like I said, you don't need to put all that glitter on it. You could just do it just normal, you know, just, just color it in would be fine. Okay, I'm going to use some score tape here and I'm going to just put it here on the edge. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my bottle here and then I'm just going to wrap it around. Now I could have used this side since I used the other one, but it's okay, I already put the tape on this side. So all you want to do is just wrap it around, really kind of keep it really tight if you can, a real tight grip on it. Okay, let me take off my tape. Because you don't want it to slip down, but then you don't want to completely tape it to the bottle either, so this way they could just lift it up and see you know what you gave them. Okay, so there we go. That's perfect. So now, oh, that's awesome. A nice snug fit there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and bring this up here. And then now what we are going to do, we are going to put, we're going to use this burlap here, this burlap ribbon. And I get this from this Etsy shop called Pro 31. Pro 31 Designs, I believe. But you don't necessarily have to use the burlap. You could use some pretty um, big, nice, fat, you know, the really fat Christmas ribbon. Um, so, I mean, different things, you don't, like I said, you don't have, don't feel like you need to rent out and buy this because you don't. I'm using what I have and I know a lot of you get like, um, like I know I do. And of course I was trying to find my fat Christmas ribbon and I can't find it. And I always get them on clearance, um, you know, at the end of the year. And then of course I can't find it right now. So like I said, I'm using what I have and this just kind of gives it a different look. And I just got some twine here from Paper Tray Ink. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just tie it right here. Instead of tying a bow on this, you know, the burlap ribbon, I'm just going to go ahead and just tie it here on the side. Okay, let me go ahead and just put my finger there. Alrighty, there we go. Super duper simple. Now let me go ahead and trim the sides really quick here. Alrighty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, let me just kind of just trim these off a little there as well. I'm going to get these little flowers, and these flowers I actually found at Michael's, and they have little twist ties connected to them, so I'm going to go ahead and get this off here. And then, but before, well, you know what, I'm going to put this on first, okay? And all you do is just twist it. I mean, you could glue gun it, hot glue gun it, but you know what? It'll stay pretty good. If you just go ahead and just put it this way, let me grab my little pliers here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and twist this on right here like so.
You see how pretty that is? But I don't want to stop there. I want to put these cute little glittery pine cones that I found in a little bunch. I actually found these at this little craft store I've never been to. It's called Richard's. It was over here in Livermore. And I'm going to go ahead and just, this I'm going to go ahead and just kind of sneak back here and also twist it around too since it is wire as well. And that's what I love about using the wire things because you could, like I said, it'll stay, you know, perfect. Because it's not like if kids are going to be playing with it because they're not. <laughs> Look at how perfect that is. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so basically this is it. How quick was that just to decorate it? And then once I get my little um, Santa outfit dry, I could put it on. But this is what your end result will look like after all that. Isn't this pretty? Super duper cute, easy project to decorate your bottles for when you go to someone's house for the holidays um, or for your coworkers, for whoever. Okay, so that was it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my little decorating of the bottles. I wanted to show you what our giveaway was for today. We are going to give away this gift card sentiments. I'm going to give you away everything that I used that you can make your own, okay? The gift card sentiments the all-around accessories, extra-large label borders, my extra-large label die, and thanks to Miss Melanie, she donated a few of these for me to give away too. So one lucky person is going to get all of this, okay? So I'll be giving away some more of this paper throughout the rest of the 12 days of Christmas here. Okay, so you'll get the pack of paper. Like I said, you'll have everything except for the flowers and the ribbon to make this project today. Okay, everybody? I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to hop along with my awesome, awesome, talented design team to see everything they made for you. And I will see you back here tomorrow for another fun, super duper cute project. Okay, everybody? Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.